welcome to the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Jerome Lavelle, and I hope that you're having a beautiful day today. Today, we will be looking at the Gospel of John, chapter 3, verses 7 through 15. Jesus said to Nicodemus, You must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can this happen? Jesus answered and said to him, You are the teacher of Israel, and you do not understand this? Amen, amen, I say to you, we speak of what we know, and we testify to what we have seen. But you people do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about earthly things, and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in Him may have eternal life. Today in the Gospel of John, chapter 3, Verses 7 through 15, we hear a conversation between Jesus and Nicodemus. Scripture tells us that Nicodemus was a Pharisee and member of the Sanhedrin, the Jewish Judicial Council. Nicodemus was sympathetic to Jesus, seeing God's hand at work, especially in Jesus' miracles and teachings. In the dialogue which came just before today's passage, and thus set the context for the words we hear today, Jesus had specified that man must be born again to see the kingdom of God, to which Nicodemus responded, how can a grown man be born again, misunderstanding that Jesus was referring to born again in the Spirit. And thus today, Jesus challenges Nicodemus to expand his paradigm, to remove barriers, to open thinking about oneness with God. Recall that this dialogue occurs before Jesus' death and resurrection and God's sending of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. So this notion of indwelling of the Spirit of God formally is not yet manifest. But here Jesus is prefiguring that time to Nicodemus, even further referring to his own resurrection, where he says he will be like the serpent image raised up by Moses in the desert. He's prefiguring himself on the cross in those words. And thus in this passage, we hear Jesus saying that he will be lifted up so that everyone who believes in him will have eternal life. And that phrase lifted up has me thinking about the things that I lift up in my life. It is said that budget reflects priority. In other words, the things that a business or a person spends their money on reflects their priorities or those things that they value. In other words, those things that are being lifted up. The same thing is true in our spiritual lives. The things that we spend time, money, resources, care, prayer on are the things that we are lifting up. My reflection today is to conduct an inventory and an audit on how I spend my resources, my time, my money, my effort, my care, How much money, how many hours, what degree of effort or care do I put into which activities in a normal day or a normal week? The first step in this inventory audit is to really look at those things, those actions, those activities that I do spend those resources on. The next step then is to audit those things that I have on my list against the things that I desire or aspire to lift up in my life, 
The question being, is there alignment between my stated priorities and those things that I actually lift up? If there's not alignment, what actions can I commit to today to close that gap a bit? What can I give up and what can I add to close that gap? Today's verses are from John chapter 3, 7 through 15. And thus the next verse in the chapter of John 3 is John 3, 16, one that most Christians know well. It reads like this, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. At the end of the day, that is what it's all about. God gave us his son to redeem us, to save us and to love us. And that son was lifted up and died on a tree for us. My question to us all today is, what things are we lifting up for him in return? Thank you for joining the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Jerome Lavelle, and remember, our word of the day is, what will we lift up? Until next time, be well and be blessed.